Hey guys, welcome to Arsenal Fan TV. This is the preview for Monday night's clash at the KC Stadium where we are facing a trip to Hull City. Not going to be an easy game for us. Steve Bruce and his men, we've, we've seen in the past that they make it very difficult for big sides travelling to the KC Stadium. They made it difficult for Chelsea despite losing that game and they got the victory against Liverpool recently. And they're going to go into this game fully expecting another big performance against big opposition. Of course, our previous history against Hull has... We've got a very decent record against them, of course, looking at the cup final last season. I don't think we can take too much from that game going into this one in the Premier League. I am expecting a fairly routine victory from Arsenal, but looking at that cup final... We, we, we envisage that they're a side that fight two for now to get something out of the game and that's what they showed when they came to the Emirates earlier on in the season. Admittedly they were in better form at that point and we were going through our you know, our, our rather black patch of the season, I think you could put it. Uh, Daddy Welbeck, uh, last minute goal, salvaging a point for us in that game. That was a fairly horrid time of the season, but we've shown what they're made of. They've got some very good players up front in Hernandez, and recently a player that's come onto the scene for them, and Doy, I think they signed him in January. He's playing very well for them, getting goals left, right, and centre, and certainly a player that we need to watch. I think maybe in the summer, when I looked at Hull, I would have expected a little bit more from them, but I think it's got to be said that they've been fairly unlucky uh, with injuries this season, as well as some of the players that they lost in that transfer window. But they brought in Diarmi, who I thought was an excellent acquisition for them, and it's a shame that we haven't really seen more of him from a whole point of view, because he's a player that could have been that catalyst in the midfield for them but unfortunately he's been uh, ravaged with injuries and you know in other areas of the pitch they've sustained injuries which um, I can't quite think of the top of my head right now but I know that you know to Jelovic as well he's another player that hasn't had the best of luck in a whole city shirt this season but they have shown that they're a team of character and they're not going to make it easy for us they do perform well in these games they've got a fairly stable defence with the likes of Michael Dawson who they got from Tottenham on a free transfer I think it was a free transfer or about Mike going for a couple of million um but they're going to they're gonna make it difficult for us. They're going to try and close us down. Now, I'm expecting two banks of four from them, and then they're trying to catch us on the counter-attack. From an Arsenal point of view, it is a good it is a good fixture for us, and it's coming at a good time. Looking at the other results over the weekend, Man City lost today. Um, not Man City, Man United, sorry, lost at home to uh, West Brom. So we can really extend our gap above them, and Man City tomorrow face a trip uh, to White Hart Lane in potentially a game where they, they, they could lose points. So it, it could be a good weekend for us if we get the right result at Hull. Like I say, it's not going to be an easy game, but we certainly can take something from the fixture. And I do believe that we've got a side that should be beating Hull um, this season. And although it would be really embarrassing, well, not embarrassing, but it'd be fairly disappointing if we couldn't get more than four points off Hull this season, retrospective of how well they played against. I do feel that we should be getting more than just two points or just a point from them. Uh, so I am fully expecting a win in this game. And with the very well nourished squad that we've got we're certainly in a better position now than we were when we last faced Hull we've got some excellent players uh, coming into the frame of things we didn't have Coughlin at that point in the season who um, has just been phenomenal since coming in an absolute revelation and it's going to be a big game for him. Uh, and of course, maybe this is the kind of game where we could afford to experiment with the side. I mean, would you like to see someone like Jack Wilshere come in for Aaron Ramsey? Maybe Santa Cazula hasn't been enduring the best of form recently. Would you like to see him drop? Maybe Wilshere could come in for him. Maybe Walcott could start this game. We haven't seen much of him. Gibbs could come in for Monreal. There's a lot of things we could do with a team, and it's great to be in this position. Personally, I wouldn't change too much from the side we've been playing recently. We've been playing some very good football, and I wouldn't change a lot of that. And we go into the fixture, of course, on the back of a... A disappointing but expected draw, I think you could say, against Chelsea in what was a very dull game. Not much we can take from that. I don't want to focus on that too much, but this is a chance where we can just get the ball rolling again. Uh, and we can take confidence from that game against Chelsea because we did play well. It's just a case that we didn't take the chances when they came to us. We did play good football. R Ramsey performed to a very good standard. Um, you know, it was a good team performance. It's just a shame that we didn't get the win because I felt f f for the performance that we put in, we deserved something from that game. But, you know, if we could get three points against Hull City, a difficult away trip, that would put us right in the frame of things to get that uh, second second place finish, which would be a phenomenal season for us. If we could get second, if we could win the FA Cup, I think that would show massive improvement. Not massive, but... It would, show, it would certainly show improvement from last season. And if we were able to get a couple more acquisitions in the summer, you know, a holding midfielder, if we were able to get another striker in, then we're certainly in contention for fighting for the title next season and really taking it down to possibly what could be the last game. So, um, you know, we're not going to win the title this season, but a second place finish would certainly be good for us and it would certainly help uh, build belief in the camp. I mean, I read something the other day that we've only had three players that have 
<laughs> made over 25 appearances for us, which is shocking, shocking, shocking for a club like Arsenal. I mean, if we keep our key players fit next season, then we're certainly going to be up there no matter who we sign because we've got such a good squad at our disposal. We can rotate the team so significantly. Uh, and whilst I'm on the subject of the team, let's have a look at the team that I would like to see start this game against Hull City. I would go with David Ospina in goal, Hector Bellerin, Per Mertzaka, Laurent Koscielny, Nacho Monreal, Francis Coquelin, Aaron Ramsey, Alexis Sanchez, Meza Ozil, Danny Welbeck and Olivier Giroud. I wouldn't change an awful lot. The only real thing that I want to see change is Santa Cazorla maybe given a break and bring Danny Welbeck in. I think it's a real question of do you drop Ramsey or do you drop Santa Cazorla? And if I'm going to be honest, I think Cazorla has possibly dipped in form from where he was a couple of games ago. And I think uh, Ramsey has been a bit more influential to the side and he's obviously got a goal in him in every game that he plays in and he can be that late runner into the box and he performed very well against Chelsea so I don't want to see him drop. I'd like to see Welbeck come in possibly I would like to see uh, maybe Wilshere come in for Ramsey or Wilshere come in for someone like Cazorla and then play maybe someone like Walcott as well I mean there's a lot we could do with the team we could we could play Welbeck as a striker and have Walcott on the flank maybe it would be a good time to reintroduce Nabry to the side if he's available that would be a great game for him to come back to uh, of course Diaby Arteta so they're not back here and we could maybe see Debussy start the game but like I said I don't change too much with the team because I think we're starting to envisage what is potentially our strongest starting eleven at this moment in time so it's a very good position to be in if we can beat Hull City we're going to be right up there to get second spot in the Barclays Premier League those will be my thoughts going into the game subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV like the video if you've enjoyed it do check out my own channel AFC Game by Game I'll speak to you very soon guys transfer season again it's all about transfers it's we're coming towards the end of the season and uh, there's certain positions in Arsenal that I've been looking at to see where we need to strengthen. And one of them is the goalkeeper. Now, listen, me personally, I'll say this first of all, I'm happy with Ospina. I think he's come in for his first season. He's done really, really well. He hasn't let us down.